Hi, I'm Ben O'Brien. Pray these videos encourage you and strengthen in you. And if they are, please share in like. But anyway, check out www.hauntonbrotherscrafts.com, all lowercase, back in Isaiah 11. And today we are in verse 11. So powerful, you know, on that day. Yeah, he is going to return. And this is in the Old Testament so powerful jesus is going to return he will separate the sheep from the goats but anyway let's pray dear gracious heavenly father i come to you as a young son that knows nothing it's not about benjamin brother yes father it's not about benjamin thank you jesus for what you did for us so much love so much grace that's why you laid your life down for us. Only you can open up eyes and ears. Let the people see the truth. As Pilate said, what is the truth? The truth of the matter is I have to lay my life down for every person to see the truth that I am sitting on the right hand side of my father. Those who accept me as their Lord and Savior will have eternal life. I am going to return one day. And that's what Isaiah 11 is about. Your return. You're going to sit on that throne of David. As we shared yesterday, Lord, the root of Jess, so powerful. King David's father. And where King David sat on his throne, you will return to reclaim that throne. And you will bring your people back. And they will no longer be on the bottom. In Jesus Christ's name, come speak to your people. Every soul is so important. Open eyes and ears. Sweep your spirit across this world like you're doing. It's not about Benjamin, Lord. It's about you. You're worthy to be famous, Jesus, for what you did for us over 2,500 years ago. Thank you, Jesus. So much grace and love for us. Amen. Glory to God. But anyway, we are in Isaiah 11, verse 11. Ah, Holy Spirit, be with me with these names. In these places, only you can do what you do. Glory to God. For I boast in my weaknesses. For where I am weak, you are strong. Glory to God. But anyway, let's read verse 11. So powerful. In that day, the Lord will reach out his hand a second time to reclaim the surviving remnant of his people from as Azora from the lower Egypt and from upper Egypt, from Cush, from Elam, from Babylonia, from Hemeth, and from the islands of the Mediterranean. Whew. They were some big words there, but glory to God. Amen. You know, he is so mighty, so beautiful. Do we truly understand? When he returns, he is going to call the surviving remnants of his people. So powerful. He is going to return one day. And the enemy comes to blind and deceive, to make people think that there is no Jesus. And he did lay down his life over 2,500 years ago because he loves us so much he knew this was the only way the only way as the father said i am going to send my only begotten son the only way to me is by accepting him and realizing what he did for us over 2500 years ago when he laid his life down so we can come to him and accept him as our Lord and Savior. He is the perfect shepherd. Yes, he is. His love endures forever. His mercy, his grace. That's why he laid his life down. To make the pathway. The enemy tempted him for 40 days in the wilderness. And he never got him. Jesus ruled over him when he was here. Jesus rules over him today. Matthew 28, verse 18. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given 
to Jesus. Only he can open up eyes and ears. He is so beautiful, so precious. And you know, he says that we are precious in his eyes. Amen. That's why he did what he did. That's why he is the true prize. When he opens our eyes, only he can do that. And when you see, because we were all born as sinners, every one of us, we live in a time about repentance, to come in the hymn and asking him to be our savior and asking him for forgiveness when we fall short. That's why he was so perfect. He started his ministry when he was 30. They say, you know. Can you imagine living here for 30 years and never sinning one time, never having one flaw? Even when he carried that cross, he never failed one time, not one sin. <laughs> Glory to God, because his father was his shepherd. And when you accept him as your Lord and Savior, he sends the advocate, the Holy Spirit to you. And he is a teacher. That's why he says, boast in your weaknesses, because where you're weak, I am strong. I know the man you see here today. The only reason why I'm able to hit that live button. Because I cherish him, I love him so much. He is so worthy to be famous. It's his spirit. Do we truly know the gift? You know, we celebrate Christmas, his birth. And we put gifts underneath a tree. But when he opens your eyes and ears to see. And you accept him as your Lord and Savior. That is the true. Beautiful gift. That he laid his life down. So we can accept him as our Lord and Savior. And get to live through him daily. In our challenges. He's always saying. Come to me son or daughter. Give me where you are struggling. Because I would never leave you or forsake you. So beautiful, so powerful. Nothing we did to deserve it. Just so much love and grace. And Isaiah 11 is talking about on that day when he returns. And he is going to return. And he will separate the sheep from the goats. You know, so powerful. You know, in Matthew 25, he will separate the sheep from the goats. He is going to return. Zechariah chapter 2, the last three verses, he's going to crack that sky like a big slice of apple pie. He is going to come down here. And the people that don't believe in him, their eyes are going to pop. And they're going to be saying, oh, what is this? And he's going to come down here. And he's going to take care of that battlefield on that. When they come against his people. And then his people goes on bent knees and pray. Check out Zechariah chapter 2. The last three verses. The enemy. Mm -hmm. If you go to Revelations 12, 12. His time is short and he knows it. When Jesus carried that cross. To make that pathway. When the enemy thought he won. But in reality. Jesus said. Check me. Now, my people that comes to see the truth, what I did for them, and they accept me as their Lord and Savior, and they realize that we were all born as sinners, and they accept me as their Lord and Savior, I washed them clean, I made them white as snow, so beautiful, nothing we did to deserve it, just so much love, so much grace for us, even though we accept them as our Lord and Savior. Doesn't mean we won't have challenges. You know? No. But what it does mean, what the enemy doesn't want you to see, we can pray to him. We can seek him daily. For he never leaves us or forsakes us once you accept him. And he sends you the advocate. And sometimes the things we go through here is to strengthen you, to encourage you, because he never leaves or forsakes you. But the fact of the matter, the most beautiful thing, the enemy doesn't want you to see. He wants you to think it's a rat race that you only have this life here on this earth. But once you accept him as your Lord and Savior. If he doesn't come back. Before you leave here, you get to go. To be with him in heaven for eternity. So powerful. And on that day, he will return one day. And he is going to sit on that throne. As we shared yesterday, the root of Jesse. 
which is King David's father. He's in the same bloodline, so powerful. But anyway, you know, nothing we did to deserve it, just so much love, so much grace. And if that's you, if he's opening your eyes and ears and only he can do that, then you want to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Let's pray this prayer and we're going to go deeper. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for your only begotten Son. Thank you, Jesus, for coming down here, carrying that cross, taking that beating, every ounce of that blood you spilt for me. I see now that I was born as a sinner. And I realize now because you're opening my eyes and I see the true prize is you, Jesus. And I want to give you every one of my sins from the time I was born to right now. I give them to you in exchange. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. You make me white as snow. And you make me a new creation through you. And I get to live through you. So much power in your blood. The power, 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 wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus, for being so perfect. And not only that, you're going to send me the advocate, the Holy Spirit. And not only that, Jesus, let's go deeper. Let's put a hunger and thirst in whoever's watching these videos that we just can't get enough of you. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did. Thank you for saving us, that you've given us a choice. Because you're a gentleman. That's why we have to ask and pray in your name. Thank you for what you did in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. But anyway, welcome, brother or sister in Christ. You know, heaven erupts for every soul that sees and comes accept him as their Lord and Savior. So powerful. And the enemy gets furious. You know, like I said, if you go to Revelation 12, 12 and verse 17, he knows his time is shortened. And anybody that stands on the Lord and Savior, he's after. Because he knows when Jesus comes back, his time is done. He will be cast in that lake of fire. Hades is his place with all of his fallen angels. And that's in Revelation 12 where a fight broke out in heaven. It did. And Michael and his angels and the devil and his fallen angels fall, but they lost. And God sent them down to this earth. That's why he says, woe to the earth and all who dwell there. For the devil has been sent down there. Yes. But anyway, don't take my word for it. Check out Revelations 12, 12. Check it out for yourself. Hmm. So powerful. But that's why he did what he did. And once he opens your eyes and ears and you see the true beauty. So welcome, brother or sister. And if you're already a believer, amen. He is worthy, okay? And if you like these videos, please share and like. It is about him, not about Benjamin. Glory to God for what he did for us. He is so worthy, so worthy to be famous. But anyway, let's close in prayer. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you have made. Let's rejoice and be glad. And I am so grateful for you most of all. I know. I know, Father, for what you did. I am so blessed to have Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. So perfect. The perfect lamb. Never sinned once. Thank you, Jesus, for making that pathway to give us that way home to the truth. As Pilate said, what is the truth? The truth of the matter is you don't want to put me on the cross, but I have to go and carry that cross because this is the only way to make a pathway to my father once I open your eyes and you see the true prize that I laid my life down for every person to see the truth amen thank you Jesus for what you do I know these videos are helping your kingdom your glory and open an eyes and ears because only you can do that. It's not about me. It's about you, Jesus. You're worthy to be saved, worthy to be famous because only you can save us. That's why you did what you did. You are so beautiful. We are worthy to come underneath you because without you, we are lost and we can do nothing without you. That's why you said, accept me as your Lord and Savior. And then you get to live through me. Do we truly see how beautiful you are, Jesus, how precious you are, even though you said we are precious in your eyes. You know, without you, Jesus. We don't have a way. 
we would be lost. You are so precious. Thank you for what you did lay in your life down. And I know you're opening eyes and ears once we see the truth. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. You know, it's so powerful. Um, you know, the gift that he given us. And, you know, even I get, you know, twisted sometimes. But, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm just like everybody else. It's all about his spirit, all about his strength. He's the truth. Without him, we all would be lost. And, uh, you know, this book is so thick and uh, there's so much information in there. And uh, let's keep it 100, you know. You know, I'm just like you. I'm a human. But when you accept him as your Lord and Savior, he sends the advocate and he does work. And he is working like never seen before. He is spreading his spirit. He is going to crack that sky in Zechariah chapter 2 and come back and return. And once we accept him as our Lord and Savior, power, 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 wonder working power in that blood of that lamb. Amen. Glory to God. You know. But anyway, remember, be strong in Joshua 1. And then Hebrews 13, verse 5. I will never leave you or forsake you. No, so powerful. He's always leaving the 99 to go after the one. Even when you believe in him and you have him already, you know, we always fall short at some point. That's why we live in a time of repentance and ask him for forgiveness, you know. So whatever you're struggling with, whatever addictions you might have, keep coming to him and praying in my name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. He is doing mind-blowing things and he is going to crack that sky Zachariah chapter 2 the last three verses and he will separate the sheep from the goats Matthew 25 on that day and uh so powerful and he's going to come back and sit on his throne but anyway King David the root of Jess so powerful so powerful yesterday the root of Jesse King David's father amen but anyway remember be strong be courageous and uh he sees you. He adores you. And that's why he carried that cross for so much grace. Amen. Glory to God. Be strong. Okay. Be strong. Amen.